Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today going to work on some fabric flips for the journals that I want to work on at my retreat. Let's see, this is airing Tuesday so it'll be the second day of my retreat that I will be there um, since I'm filming ahead as much as I can. Let's say our hi and hugs, hi and hugs to Josette, Colleen, Deborah, and Annette, thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And so, what I what I have here is I have all of my bits. This this um, little slow stitched cover. I'm using this cottage garden from Mixed Media Minnesota. I haven't cut it completely up yet, and I need to use some special scissors on this one. So I'm not quite done with this one yet, so it's not in its baggy, but I thought we'd just figure out, um, we'll, we'll just figure out its fabric flip and put it with it. Um, so I think I should have, and I do, I should have some of this fabric, so it might be kind of fun to do a flip with this, so. Let's set this aside and let's do it. So I've got, I've got this bit that I haven't used yet. And I like the fabric flips to be about four and a half to five inches, somewhere in there. So I'm just using my, using my board to, um, to cut it, let's go, let's go five inches. So I'm just gonna tear, cause I like the jiggity jaggedy edges. And um, yeah, so I thought we'd do this and chat a little bit and, and stuff. Um, the fabric flips, let's talk about them for a quick second. Um, I have gotten questions about, you know, what's the purpose? Well, the purpose is decorative, first of all. And then it's a fun little place to journal underneath. Or in the recent, um, I think it was in the journal that Judy gave me. Um, she had, she had a... Uh, an envelope or something underneath and I thought that was super cute so okay and then I want this probably at about seven and a half and I'm gonna use this end because it looked like there was a lot of purple in the in the um, kit that I'm using so we'll have this part hanging down the bottom there'll be a few strings to contend with here Okay, oh, I need to settle, settle, I need to settle. Um, I've just been, I've been working so hard at getting things ready for my retreat, and um, I just went and got a haircut today, and, you know, there's just been this is and that's, it's been a little crazy. Look at this, that might be kind of, that's real bright, real bright. That be fun. Just kind of looking through here. Actually, I'm gonna grab. Oh, I just had it right down there. I'm gonna grab these and play with these a little bit. Um, shared them in a recent Etsy share. And they are so pretty. This one, this would be pretty on there. I don't want it to cover it up totally, but I think I might go right about here. I'll just go ahead and cut it across because we can use the rest on another one. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, anyway... I've kind of been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, just go, go, go. And, and 
I just need to settle in and do a little crafting. <laughs> get get chilled out a little bit. Um, kind of wonder. I love that. That would cover up too much of that. Um, what if we just use a little piece of pink? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm struggling a little bit with this one. There is some purple. I have this charm pack that does have a little bit of purple in it, which could maybe be fun. Sometimes I can't tell without cutting it. That's the truth of it. So, but then I thought, oh, off camera, I'll just get these sewn up. That's kind of pretty. I'd kind of like something across it too. I don't know what. Just having a look in my those are those. Okay. Um here nope um, but that made me think what about like a fabric cluster let's just see what we might have to put on there Ooh, there's a, this is from ePapery here. Seriously, guys, these, these things, these papers, whatever you call this, cellophane, drives me bonkers. Oh, that's it. That's it. I'm going to put that on there. Okay, so that one is done. I am going to put this back in because I want to be able to say it's from ePapery. We might be using those some more, so we'll keep those handy. But there's that one for that one. I'm just going to set it on it for the moment. Um, <clears throat> so that was good. Let's see. So next I have, this one is, it's the oil or uh, paint by number cover and then I'm using Oliver study from mixed media Minnesota which is kind of neutral kind of you know it's a little more you know sort of industrial looking or whatever you would say so I have some fabric here that I think might be good for it I'm going to stack them on the floor as I get done. Okay, so I was thinking about this. I have some leftovers here that maybe could go to. Hmm, let's look. I'm going to move this over. You guys, I just, I, I never have enough space. I never do. Okay, let's just look for a minute at what we've got here. This is just four inches. We'd have to cut that down some, but that's kind of neat. This is neat. It's about five. It's Boy, that's cool. And then I don't have to tear into the big piece if I've got some some things to work with here so I went and got my hair cut and then I went by the college because um, we're trying to figure out my granddaughter's um, volleyball camp for high schoolers 
Those are a little feminine, I feel like. Okay. Um, and they don't have the information on the website. It's kind of driving me bonkers. It's like, what? I retire and you people fall completely apart? What the deal? <laughs> we couldn't get them by phone. Can you imagine not being able to get a college by phone? It's like, what if we were a prospective student? <sighs> I... I did um, refrain from telling them their business, but I really wanted to. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was like, I can't believe you, you're not answering your phone. Like a real person, not a press this and a press that. And, you know, if you want a list of people, it was just... So, anyway, I think I finally got the scoop. We're trying to... Um, coordinate a family trip and the older the kids get the harder it is because they're so busy with their activities and stuff you know so yeah I don't guess I need to keep this I'm gonna know it's Timmy I, I'm gonna keep this this is just kind of cool Ooh, you know what might be kind of fun is to um maybe Maybe I will use that as the closure on the abandoned one. I'm going to keep that. Okay, so let's see. What else do we want on this one? I think there's uh, some that are a little more colorful in here, so it's not bad. That's flowers. Don't need that. Looking at this one with the cigar seals. Let's do something with that. Um, yeah, so, but meanwhile, we're having a blizzard. Oh, yeah, it's still snowing like crazy. It's supposed to snow for like three days. Yeah, here it is, late May and just snowing like crazy. But that's, that's, that's what you get when you live in Montana. That's what you get. I think I'm just going to cut that right down there. So, yeah, um. Anyway, the roads aren't bad. They're just slushy. I was thinking that'd be kind of fun across there like that. I feel like I need a little something dark under there. Um, I have this fabric. Maybe I'll... Give it a little rip. And then it can live with my scraps there. Ooh, yeah, gonna get gonna get fabric grits all over my clothes. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Um so yeah, this morning, you know, our trees just started to bloom. And now um all the branches are like pfft, they're just such a wet, heavy snow, so but again, I am grateful because we live in the trees and the it's just so dry that it gets scary in the summer. So I'm grateful for the moisture. I'd like it to be rain instead of snow, but you know, the good Lord did not ask me what I preferred. So we're getting what we get and we won't throw a fit did you use that one on your kids my granddaughter that's what they'd say at her preschool and we kind of <laughs> we kind of adopted it i like the writing oh but i like that well can't have it both ways gail okay i'm just gonna put this kind of in the middle and then I'll put this here, like so. And then I'll zip down the middle. Okay, that is cute. Okay, laying that one down with that one. Now this one. Let's see, we're done with these, I think, for the moment. Okay. So this one is what? This one is 
vintage garden, so it's very floral, and it's this cover. So let's play a little bit with the Kathy Holden fabrics and see what we like. Okay, I'm just gonna put that back in here for the moment. Put it here. Okay, so my Kathy Holdens. So here's the one. Ooh, I've got scraps. I've got Kathy scraps. Okay, let's see here. What we have. I'm saying this one looks just about right. Yep, it's about five. So, what do we like? Kind of like that end. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me while I get this done. It's like everything is like on the path to... <laughs> To the retreat at this point oh i had a little bit of a freak out yesterday i just i felt like i have so much to do and it's coming <laughs> and so i freaked out a little bit and so mike bless his heart he said well what can i do to help and um so he did he did some printing i think i want it this way to cover up that though that's so pretty um so yeah he did some printing and um i think i'd like some of this number one um and uh what else do you do oh he did some scanning for me because i needed to scan oh look at here isn't that handy um I needed to scan the things that my friend Betsy had given me because I want to take the books back to her because she doesn't live here. She lives in Anaconda. So I wanted to do that. Um, and so he got that stuff scanned for me. So I'll be making digitals when I can. Let's see. My husband today is up working. He's working for the school today. I think I'm going to go right on this side of that number. And, um, yeah, so he's been on the phone off and on all day with them. And so I'm going to do this video, and then I'm going to do a Patreon video. And I'm hoping to do a few more, but I am going to say in each one now that this might be my last one um, before the retreat. I don't think this one will be, but it might be. Just because I need to... Um, I need to get ready for it. Okay, I had some cut... Did I leave those over? No have these I was wondering about but no maybe I'll use one of these I don't have very much of this left <laughs> makes me so sad to run out of Kathy oh there's more of it <laughs> of course there is oh oh I love this one too I want to use that too okay well Since this is a um, garden journal, I could do that. Hmm. I love these little, um, this one that has the Victorian calling cards on them. I think I'd like to cut out one of those. I'm going to cut this one out. My husband's giggling. He's on the phone with someone from the school and giggling. I don't know. It's so cute. So, yeah, it's just been, it's been quite something trying to do this family trip. 
I said to Mike, I said, I think your kids get to a certain point where to have everyone all together at the same time is nearly impossible. <laughs> um, so anyway, you just have to enjoy the ones that are there and you know, miss the ones that aren't, but at the same time, you can't not do stuff because everybody can't come because otherwise you'd never get together. So, um, I'm just going to cut this down here and then I would like to stamp the word kind on here. It's what I would like to do, but I don't know... Oh, it is here. Gosh, I don't have my black because it's already packed. See, this is what I start to run into, and it kind of drives me bonkers. So, I don't know. I'll have to be done making videos here soon, I guess. I guess if this doesn't work, we'll cut out a different one, right? Oh, it's good. It's very subtle, but it's good. It's there. Which is the main thing. I can't believe I don't have my kind stamp in my stuff to go to the retreat. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay. Hmm. I'd rather... don't know. I don't feel like that's enough of that showing. Well, what's this? If I went down like that and then put that there. I just want it to have at least three pieces. And then like maybe a little That's cute, but it's not tall enough, so we'll just use some more. So, yeah, so I, big size, because it's just, it's been crazy. On the phone with my daughter, trying to get that figured out. Oh my goodness, it's just been nuts. I'm ready to be at my retreat. <laughs> that's where, that's where I'm at at this point. I'm ready to be there. And... Just be doing that. Just be hanging out with my pals, with my gal pals. My friend Eve called today and it made me really excited. What if we, we could do that? Yeah, I think I like that. Um, so, yeah, that, so that made me excited. We're talking about, you know meals and this is and that's and so that that made it feel more real okay that's cute i might like a little lace across the top of this one i can't can't seem to quit with this one can i um about just just that yep okay so after much I mean, hawing and not being able to figure it out. That's going to be that one. Okay. All right. So then the next one, the next one is kind of the purple one. And I don't have this fabric for whatever reason. I don't have this fabric. But I can use, I can use something else. Um, let's see what else is purple. Like, are there any of these that 
No. At least not on that piece. There's nothing purple. Not that it has to be matchy-matchy, but I really love that. And that would go. Let's do something with that. Okay, we know it's purple. That's the main thing. But see now, um, all these little, all the little bags are put together with the the cover, the kit, and and then the ephemera we picked out yesterday. I think that was yesterday. And then I'll sew these sew these up quick and I'll put them in the basket or in the um, plastic bag too. And then we're just kind of ready to we're ready to put things together. <laughs> Eve and I were talking about what to bring. She says, I'm going to try not to bring as much stuff. And I said, I don't know. Just make sure you have enough to keep yourself busy. Because I know the other thing that will happen is that I'm going to get all inspired from somebody's somebody's work. And then I'm going to want to, um, I'm, I'm going to want to go that direction. Ooh, wow. Look what I just found. Look at that. That needs to be, I wonder if there's one on the edge, no? Nope, it's just right in the middle, well, it's on that edge, kind of. Okay, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut that out with my um, pinking shears. And that's going to be my flip, because that, that is what we what we need I hope it's not too thick I'll cut it down if it seems to be okay It'll be interesting to see with my with my big plans that I have. It'll be interesting to see how much I actually get done. Okay, so this is at this moment a bit too wide, so I'm just going to go down this edge with the old pinking shears. Pinking shears remind me of my mom. She everything she so she it seemed like she always used pinking shears. Okay. Okay, and then how tall is it? Ooh, it's eight, so it's gonna go to the from the top to the bottom, but I'm looking at this going, do I really want much more? on it. Ooh. That could be kind of cool in there. Maybe. folded those down and put that in there just sewed around it I think I like it with those on it's just bright and happy okay I think I'm just gonna sew that in the middle and that's gonna be that one that's what I'm gonna do okay next you think my um, eyes are bigger than what I can do? I think so. Okay, this is the um, paint by number one. 
Okay, let's see here. Guys, let's just look. Paint by number. Here it is. I really want to use this in one. I love that. Okay. So, yes, Kathy Holden fabric. It's so beautiful. So let's see, there's Flea Market Mix, Flea Market Moxie, and Flea Market, there's one more that's just new, which I don't have that fabric with this fabric, so I'm just being a bit of a bean head there. Okay, it's kind of a gardeny one. I don't know. I don't think I want to use that. How much of this is there? Okay. That's about eight inches. I think that, I think I'm going to use this. If I put that down a little bit, like that, it just takes a lot of playing to the side. It's just like any other kind of collage. I think I might kind of like that. I want that to go down that far. Okay, I kind of like that, I think. Oops, <laughs> those aren't the ones I want. That feels gardeny, doesn't it? in there. Excuse that ridiculousness. I'm just thinking this would be pretty maybe across the top. Like right there. Yes, I like that. Okay. And we have that one done. Okay. Oh, now we're on to the Tim Holtz Abandoned, and I have all of those fabrics right here. So, let's see what we can do with those. Pink is not going to be something we need. Not going to need the pink for this one. Okay. So we can really go any direction. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> that is so gorgeous. Yeah. Tim really outdid himself with this collection. Hmm. Boy, it's tough to decide. No, I don't want this one because that's the cover. I mean, I really love this, but I don't know that that's on the edges. Oh, it is. It is on the edge. Yep, I'm going to do that, I think. 
Okay, so let me just give that a little measure here. So we want it to be four to five-ish. Okay, all right, we're just gonna... Yeah, it's, you know, talk about hoarding paper. I kind of tend to do it with fabric, too. And it's like, you know, I need to use it. Okay, I love that. Okay, um, so we're going to do this end that has that. But first... London Gridlock, this is called. That's, that'd be a fun little tie for a traveler's notebook. It's not quite big enough for a journal. everywhere they attach to me and they don't want to let go okay 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 how are we doing time wise oh my gosh time flies when you're just having so much fun okay so I am going to I think I'm gonna go this way this one it's all sorts of crooked but I can sew it on there okay I think um now what else I feel like we want something maybe kind of brightish but I let me look in my oh where's my cigar one It could be kind of nice right there I don't like that those are so close in height and not any of these would be right so that would be cute I love the charm packs for stuff like this. It's so good. There. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I think across the front, I might do this grab it out there. Yeah, I might just do that. That. Yep. That's going to be that one. Okay. So, that goes down here. And, ooh. Okay, this one is the bird one. that bird one I know there's a lot of the Kathy Holden that has birds I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put away my abandoned fabric because it's all done really okay so that can be put away Okay, that gives me a little more elbow room. See, like that had a bird on it. But we could use just that little piece. Oh, 
Anything birdish? I don't know. I don't think so. So pretty though. Um, no. We could do the cats. <laughs> Let's see, how tall does that make it? less than let's just use this because it's already cut okay gosh all the stringies So, about to sneeze, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. Oh, look at this bird. See, I wouldn't have seen that if I didn't sneeze. That's perfect. Okay, so I think I want kind of a neutrally sort of a one, so this would fit the bill there but that I love this fabric because you can you know you can use it with the panels or whatever but then you can cut out the individual images too I love that okay Go like this Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. Now I would like a piece of lace across the top of some sort. I'm thinking this. Brown might be nice. Hmm. I don't know. Not feeling it. So, what am I feeling? Is the question. Blue. Sorry, this is my my bag for the retreat of lace. One of them. And it's all kind of crammed in there. But I think this would be good. Yes. Yep. Okay. So we only have one more after this. I hope we have time. The shabby chic one. I think I'll leave those out for the moment. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with on that one. Okay. So that, where did I put it? Right here. Okay. So then we have our shabby chic one, right? Well, that is going to just have shabby chic fabrics so I think I'd like to have like kind of a neutral I'm thinking this as the base and um, then if we go down the Side of it. It's not too too much. Okay. We go this way. No, 
I will keep that because you can use that in snippets and whatever. So this we want to be about four and a half, five inches, somewhere in there. Okay. And this is Kathy Holden too. Flea Market Moxie. This one. And this will be good for a base. Okay. Let's do this thing. I'll do this end. Couldn't find my scissors for a second. <laughs> I do not know what my husband's going outside for. Good grief, it is snowing so hard out there. <laughs> super wet, super heavy snow. So my poor trees. But better than burning down in the summer, that's what I think. So, okay. Okay, okay, so there's our, there's our base, and then I thought this would take me about an hour, so this is, this was good. Let's see, so I want, you know, soft, soft pinks, like, that's nice, um, and how about... It's nice too. Maybe we'll offset those a little bit. That one over there. This one over here. Like that. Put a little lace. Got to have a little lace when it's shabby chic, right? And then I was wondering about this lace. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is it. Okay. So that one's done. Okay, and then just um just in the spirit of showing you how to complete it. Let me get my sewing machine over here and we'll sew one or two just to just to show you. Let me just get rid of all of my stuff and things. Okay, over there. All right. So Here's my sewing machine. Okay, I'm going to do, well, actually, I think I'll do the leafy stitch on this. Just because I think that'd be pretty for the, for this one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold them together and... Just like that, Put it sewn together, snip the threads and I'll show it to you close up just so you can see. So there's the, there's the little leafy pattern. Okay, so that one's done and can go in the bag. Let's do this one that's sitting over here because this one You know what I think I'm going to do on this one is I think I'm going to go across here 
Then I'm going to go down here, here, and up just to get that cluster put on there. And it doesn't matter because the whole thing's going to flip up anyway, right? So let's go back to a straight stitch on this one. Then I'm going to go down the side of the snippet. And then I'm going to turn it and go sideways. Okay, and then up the side. Okay, I'll show you that one too. So then that one, yeah, we went across and then I went down in a square and now that's nice and adhered and we'll flip up all as one. So that one's done. Yay! Okay, well, we've got a few minutes. You guys, if you don't want to watch me sew, you can you can move on to the next thing. Okay, this one needs a straight stitch too. So I'm just going to stitch across the top of the ruler on this one. And I may decide later that say this maybe needs a little doily flower or something like that but I basically got the base done which is what I was hoping to do so okay how about we do this little one the bird one so this one is going to be a little different in that I have the bird moved down because um, I don't want the lace to cover him up. So I have to be sure that I catch that. Um, I think I'll go zigzag on this just, and I'm gonna start down here rather than at the top of the lace. So more or less went down the middle of the lace basically is what it is. And I think some of these could use a little focal point up at the top. So we may do that, but I'll decide that as I'm putting together the journal. So see, that way I caught this piece, which is down from the top a bit. So there's that one. Um, we do this one. I'm going to do this with a straight stitch. But once you get to this point, it's fairly quick to then sew these up. And I don't worry about back stitching at the front and back because this is going to be glued down anyway. So it'll pro likely have glue on the thread anyway. So there's, there's that one. Just a straight stitch across the top. Yay. Okay. Ooh. Oh yes, this one. So what I'm thinking I'm just going to do is I'm just going to sew around this. Sew this on here is the plan. Oop, didn't want to go that far, but that's okay. Okay, 
okay. So that one was a little different than how I usually do them, but that was fun. So yeah, so that's just sewn on the front there. That's a fun one. Okay. Oh yeah. Then we've got this one with the kind. And I think my plan with it is I'm just going to go with a straight stitch right down the middle of the lace. Okay, I'm super stoked. I didn't think I'd get these all sewn too within the hour, so. I'm happy, happy girl. Because this is the last one. Now, granted, I do have a couple of more. I think I'm going to do um, zigzag on this one. I do have a couple more that I wanted to... A couple more journals that I wanted to get ready to go, but we'll see. I probably have enough here to keep me busy, I'd say. <laughs> Because I know what will happen. I'll get there and somebody will be doing something cool. And I'm just going to have to stop and do that. So that's that's what happens. You get all inspired and then you end up doing other things too. So, But then that's the one for the Oliver study. And it's just zigzagged across the top. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, I feel... Like that was a good stroke of business. And so now what I'll go through with all of these, and I'm just going to put the fabric flip in there. And then it's like I can put all these in my tote and they'll be ready to go. And that was the last thing because I think I'm going to do um, belly bands there. And... Some of them, I had belly band, paper belly bands, and then I'll decide if I'm doing paper or fabric or what. So thanks so much for once again helping me get ready for my retreat. I so appreciate you guys. I hope you, you stay warm if you're in my neck of the woods and safe and well. Have a grateful day, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but there will be a next video. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, everybody.